one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. This story comes to us from NBC4 Investigates, where federal grand jury indictment has resulted in the resignation of a Columbus police officer effective this month. According to a spokesperson with the Columbus Division of Police, Nicholas Duty, 35, resigned on May 3rd. The resignation stems from allegations that Duty destroyed or altered records related to a criminal investigation. Duty reportedly destroyed, altered, or falsified records by purposefully deactivating or removing his police body-worn camera with the alleged intent to impede, obstruct, or influence a federal investigation. He was arrested on April 19th of this year, according to a release by the Office of the U.S. Attorney, Kenneth Parker. Now, the alleged incidents occurred on October 31st of last year and March 22nd of this year during interactions with two women, including once during a sexual encounter. Duty, while on duty, he's off duty now, was reportedly wearing a police uniform and in a marked police vehicle with an assigned body-worn camera, which is required to comply with Columbus police policies for wearing division-issued cameras. The U.S. Attorney's Office said that he knowingly, al or that knowingly altering records to obstruct a federal investigation is a crime punishable up to 20 years in prison. Nicholas Duty, according to personnel records, was placed on leave March 24th based on the ongoing criminal investigation. He pleaded not guilty in federal court and will next appear before a judge at a future date. <clears throat> now they're saying here that Duty was hired by the Columbus Division of Police on January 4th of 2019. They're always young officers, but not always. His employee status lists him as inactive, effective May 3rd, according to the Ohio Peace Officer Training Academy portal. So, you know, and, and that really gets it. You got to read into this a little bit. This is one we can read into a little bit. He was deactivating his police body camera. That's why we record. You know, people say, you stand here recording the police, get a job or do something. Yeah, I'm sure they told that girl that recorded George Floyd that. Why don't you get a job, girl? I'm sure if somebody had been recording the police in Aurora, Colorado, when they met Elijah McClain, maybe somebody would have said, yo, dude, go get a job, man. Let them do their thing. What? Unlive Elijah McClain? Because that's what they did. Their body cameras gave them away. But I digress. So you have this one officer that's deactivating his police body camera, which brings into question, what are the other umpteen hundred thousand officers doing when they hit their body camera and turn it off? All right, punk, get on the ground, bitch. You can't talk to me like that. Sure can. Okay, like I was saying, you need to turn around, put your hands behind your back, you know, whatever. I'm just using an example there, but... How many times have we had issues with cops in these news stories and they say the body camera was deactivated or the body camera was not turned on until, you know, the cop that pulled the teenage girl out of the car and threw her on the ground, his body camera wasn't activated until he pulled her on the ground. What was going on there? So... You know, it just goes to show, record the police, guys, at all times. This is another reason.